host of Mr. WWE Report here on YouTube.com. Money in the Bank WWE pay-per-view comes to you tonight. Phoenix, Arizona on pay-per-view. Many exciting, epic matches tonight. I want to hear your predictions, but first, here's mine. It's been a brief few days since I've been here on this channel. Three days, I watched Zack Down, of course, and Monday Night Raw. I previewed it as well. So an epic Zack Down. You may see a video just uh, giving my predictions and uh, results on Zack Down, in which was a very good night. Exciting opening bout. But right now, we'll give you my 2012 Money in the Bank predictions for tonight. To start off the show, we have the special pre-match on YouTube.com. Featuring the tag team champions R-Truth and Kofi Kingston going up against Hunico and Camacho. Well, Hunico and Camacho do not really deserve this match as the primetime players are the real number one contenders for the title. So, I see Kofi Kingston and R-Truth winning this match. Uh, in which should be a great match on YouTube.com. Usually before the show, I get a few things done for football or uh, just hang around. So, I doubt I'll be able to watch that match. But um, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth should be good and uh, should be successful in this one. Next up, we have the huge SmackDown Money in the Bank match consisting of huge major talents in Dolph Ziggler, Christian, Lord Tensai, Santino, Damian Sandow, Tyson Kidd, Sin Cara, and Cody Rhodes. All those names, up-and-coming superstars that deserve a chance at gold for the World Heavyweight Championship that Sheamus currently has around his waist, or will Del Rio beat him tonight? I will get that. I will. I will get into that match in a bit. But right now, the SmackDown Money in the Bank with all those talents I mentioned. So, out of all these members. Out of Lord Tensai, I think it's a bit too soon. I can't see him as World Heavyweight Champion yet. Dolph Ziggler is a huge, hungry superstar. Should be good. Maybe Ziggler is going to win. I, uh, he has about 8 out of 10 chance. Christian, he's already intercontinental. He's very good in that ladder match for the Money in the Bank. So I give him about 7 out of 10 as Tensai, I said. Going to give him about 5 out of 10, half and half. Santino has a huge push on the way. Can't see him becoming World Heavyweight Championship at all. So I'll give him about 4 out of 10. Damian Sandow just debuted. He's a hungry superstar, but can't see him that fast. So I give him about 6 out of 10. Tyson Kidd, as much as I would love to see him as champion, I don't think WWE will be that good at booking Tyson. So I will have to give him a 6, 7 out of 10. Sin Cara, a little soon for him. I'll give him about 6 out of 10. And Cody Rhodes and Dolph Ziggler, as uh, Dolph Ziggler is another hungry superstar. Cody Rhodes, I would give him a 8 out of 10. So it's between Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes, in my opinion. We also have the exciting Raw Money in the Bank match with four participants in the big show. Kane, John Cena, and Chris Jericho. Well, rumors are that The Miz, who's been taping the next Marine movie, will be a surprise participant in this Money in the Bank match since he is a past WWE champion. So, as I mentioned, we have The Big Show as he is hungry for gold. I will give him an 8 out of 10 as he looks to become WWE champion, either from CM Punk or Daniel Bryan, as I will also get to that later in this video. We have Kane, as much as I would love him to be champion as well. WWE will not give him the chance, in my opinion, I don't think. So, I will give him a 6 out of 10. John Cena, the superhero of WWE, the face of WWE, as much as WWE would like to give gold to him. The fans may not want him to, but as I said, WWE would like him to, so I will have to give him an 8 out of 10. And next up, we have Chris Jericho, as I will give him an 8 out of 10 as well. So, The Miz, a surprise participant, a surprise entrant, as he hasn't been in the in the WWE television as of late to return. I can't see him becoming champion. Uh, many times returners became champion or uh, got a big push as of late. But The Miz, I do not see him as WWE champion as before he left. He was in the mid-card division and I think he is going to stay there. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what goes down there for the Money in the Bank Raw WWE Championship match. 
there will most likely be a Divas match, uh, Diva going up against Layla for the title, and a Ryback squash match, maybe a handicap match between him and my man Tyler Rex and Kurt Hawkins, as uh, that feud's been going on on SmackDown. Also, Zack down as Tyler Rex was hopefully going to beat Ryback, but Ryback was successful. So, should be interesting to see who Layla goes up against. Uh, well, this brings me to my next topic, Karma. Well, TMZ did report that she was released. Well, is it all part of a plan? Karma's been saying she is not accepting bookings. Usually, right after a superstar is released, they want bookings. They want more and more. So, uh, should it be interesting. Will Karma return, defy the odds, or what exactly will go down? But one of the main events, one of the two, we have World Heavyweight Championship match between Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio has the upper hand on Sheamus after attacking him on Zack Down as well. So uh, with Del Rio, I think the hype's going to get above and Sheamus will be successful retaining the World Heavyweight Championship as the WWE board and writers are very fond of Sheamus and his World Heavyweight Championship and his gimmick, his superstar, his uh, ring work, so I see Sheamus retaining the World Heavyweight Championship. Last but not least, we have the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match with AJ as a special referee. In my opinion, this doesn't seem like a WWE Championship match because this feud's been going on so long. But um, we'll see what goes down as WWE wants Daniel Bryan to finally win to put the long WWE Champion CM Punk to rest, give him a break, put him down. But what will go down there? Will the American Dragon or the best in the world be successful? With AJ Lee standing in the way, what exactly will go down? Hopefully you guys enjoy. Follow me on Twitter at KillaJF. That's K-I-L-L-A-J-F. As yesterday, I met Robbie E. in a great match, uh, in a great show. Uh, watch my next video and uh, enjoy your day, guys. Peace.